Hey game fam, what's going on? Welcome back to the Panthers franchise. There's going to be a bit of a different episode today. I like to do these every year. We're going to do a mid-season check-in. We just like to check around the league, check what our stats are, some of the league stats and stuff like that. So yeah, we're not going to be playing a game this week. I just like to, I, I do like to check around the league because I don't want to be like, we don't check any of the other teams out. I always like to see kind of what's going on, you know, some of the teams, stats and stuff like that, leading in all the categories. So let's check it out. We have some upgrades. We'll wait till week nine to hit these upgrades. Um, but we'll probably negotiate this week. At least DJ. I remember I wanted to get his contract done again. I don't know about JJ and Swartz yet. I don't know how bad they're going to regress, to be honest. Now, Greg Little's... Ah, that's tough. He is only 24. That wouldn't be bad to lock him down. Damn, we're going to lose a lot of people this year if we don't sign him. Some big-name guys. See, this is kind of why I picked the Panthers franchise. Because I feel like we're going to get a bit of a turnaround on our roster like this. Like, look. Like, we got freaking DJ up for contract. Kawan. Some of our bigger players. Robbie. Let's see if we can't get DJ signed. Again, he wasn't okay with that contract. Um, Let's see here. I'll raise your salary a little, dude. Let's see if we can put this up to 6.7. No, 6.68. Come on, bro. This is, I feel like this is a fair contract for DJ. Okay, we signed DJ. I'm not mad at that. So we get DJ brought back on a nice little four-year contract. About 13 mil a year. Not mad at that. Because I'm hoping he gets his X Factor back this year. And I feel like he would have want way more money if he'd had an X Factor. Again, I do apologize. I don't know if I'll be able to turn that much to look because my neck is hurting a little bit. So I might just be like looking straight forward. But I'll do my best. Greg Little. And I mean, we have a decent amount of cap as well. We do have to keep in mind that Justin and like CMC and stuff, we're going to have to sign them. It's not a bad contract to be honest because I feel like Greg Little can play a lot of spots if it comes down to it. Like if we get a tackle hurt, I feel like he can bounce out there. He's playing guard now. So I feel like he's just a nice player to have to be honest. I wouldn't mind signing him to a three-year deal. He's only 24. Alright, so we get him on a three-year deal. So that's probably all the signings we'll make. I do like to wait till the end of the year to make some of the more signings for some of these older players. But you just never know. If, like, Mitchell or damn JJ, like, JJ might lose his ex. Mitchell might lose Superstar. So we gotta wait to see what happens there. Um, I guess we'll we start trading. I guess we can upgrade, actually. My god, we play the Ravens. The Ravens are tough. Coming up next week, Lamar always runs. We're gonna have to be prepared. And you know what our weak spot is? His linebacker. That could be devastating. Our pass rush is going to have to clean that. My God, dude. Look at that stretch. We got Baltimore, San Fran, Philly, freaking Arizona. Damn. That's a tough stretch, to be honest. That's a tough stretch. Oh, we got some nice upgrades. Taylor Bowden kind of got shredded last week, if we're being honest here. I want to get his pass blocking up. I know he's agile, but again, I feel like... Getting that up wouldn't be horrible. Oh, wow. He gets strength. That's not bad. I'd like to get impact blocking, but it, I mean, it's all right. Well, I got, he's got 99 injury. That's decent. DJ Moore. Well, I mean, it's really good, actually. Um, Let's see. I, I feel like deep route running's got to get better for DJ. That's a problem. Yeah, we'll go deep because I feel like we need him to be a bit of a more deep threat for us. I'll take that. Plus two deep, plus one release. So he's getting better at deep route running. He's becoming a better receiver. We got him signed, so it's time to get these upgrades rolling for him. We'll just auto-upgrade this guy. All right, so let's check out what's went on so far around our schedule. And you'll be able to see. I've only played each game once. I make sure to do that. So you guys know I haven't been restarting or anything like that. So you can see I'm pretty proud of this, all right? We haven't restarted any games, anything like that. All one playtime. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. And you know what? We've started off a bit hot. I mean, we took out the Falcons 41-3. to We started out the year on fire. In the last two weeks, we've kind of struggled. 
I mean, we took out the Seahawks 21 to 10. We took out the Falcons again 24 17. Took out the Bucks 27 6. Took out the Browns 38 23. This is where we started getting into some hairy games. We threw like we've thrown two picks a game these last two weeks. We only won 23 21 over the Bucks. We only won 24 22 over the Lions. So again, it's been a bit rough. 100 percent it has the last couple weeks. What is our... Oh, my God. Bro. That schedule, though. Well, damn. It, I mean, it gets rough. It gets rough. Steelers, Rams, Saints, Bengals, Saints. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, we don't have a cakewalk for any... I mean, anything. I'm looking forward to it, though. I like these tough games. I don't want to always have an easy schedule. So this is going to be a tough, tough schedule for us, dude. Really tough. To be honest, I'm looking forward to going up against some of these better defenses. Because we're going to get tested. I mean, when we play the freaking, uh, some of these teams, we're going to get tested. When we play the freak, I mean, let alone some of these teams, the 49ers, Philly. We, we, I mean, jeez. Steelers, Rams, like, we got our work cut out for us. I'm excited, though. I'm not mad at that schedule. Hey, give me all the tough games. Give me them all. All right? I got something to prove this year. All I know, that Week 11 matchup, we coming for blood, dude. We coming for blood. Philly knocks us out. Let's see what we got for them. Let's see. What do you got, Mitchell Swartz? How do you want to handle this bye week? Yeah, let's rest a little bit. I yeah, I think that might give us injury. Yeah, that's good. That I'll always take that. Plus two injury. I mean, that's really big. Um, let's check the standings and then we'll check some of the stats out. So what do we got going on here? We're leading. Oh, we're the only undefeated team left in the league. What's the AFC looking like? Got the Colts up there. Chargies. Oh, wow, the Patriots. Ooh. The Ravens? Wow, some of the teams we play are some of the better ones. I mean, we play the Ravens next week. We play the Steelers coming up. Okay, I see ya. Ooh, that's a fight. So this is a big game for the Ravens. They're going to be coming hard. Because they lose this game and Pittsburgh wins, they're down. Shit. We knocked Cleveland out. I feel pretty good about that. Feel really good, actually. Colts 6 and 1, alright. Got the Titans up there. I mean, yeah, Colts will probably take that. Patriots 5 and 2. That division's way closer than I'd anticipate. AFC, uh, okay, Chargers up there, hey. They're on a five-game win streak. Chiefs are up there as well. Um, then it comes down to really the Broncos and the Raiders. Now, NFC, let's check this out. So we got the Packers up at 5-1. and one. I mean, they're probably going to take that division if we're being honest. The South, I mean, this is... I, I've been really surprised about our division because up until this year, the division we've had has been very competitive. Like, we haven't really ran away with the division this early on, but I feel like we're easily going to take our division. Like, that's not probably a concern. So, yeah, we're undefeated. I mean, we'd have to go on a tear of losing games to really give this one away. Now, the Dallas, that's always going to be a fight there. In this division, we play Philly coming up, so I just need that matchup. They haven't allowed many points either. Now this, I mean, look at this. When we play the Rams, they've only allowed 117 points. Jeez. Man, that's tough. Some of these teams we play are just going to be rough. The word, yeah. We should be leading the NFC pretty well, so... All right, not mad at the way it's looking around the league. Um, what's the stats? Let's check it out. So offensive yards were 12th. I'm kind of surprised. That's going to drop probably a lot. 
after this bye week. We're fit, and so we'll probably drop in offensive yards, but we might move up to number one in defensive yards. Now we've scored a hundred and oh, wow. We've only allowed 102 points, dude. Shit, our defense is on fire. So let's see here. Man, my neck's killing me today. Again, I, yeah, I do apologize if I'm not able to turn that much. So, offensive yards, I think it said we were 12th. Yeah. So, what's our pass yards? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18. 19. Man, we're 20th in the league in passing. Holy crap. We have not been great this year passing. But we're pretty far up there in running yards. We're 5th in rushing yards, so that's not horrible. Who's last? Oh, yikes. Football team up there. Jacksonville up there. What about points per game? I mean, we're scoring still fifth in points per game. So, like, we're capitalizing on our opportunities. So, we might not be the best offense, but it's not like we're not capitalizing on points. Because we're fifth in the league still. Colts are up there at 30.7 a game. Damn. Jesus. 2,100 passing yards? Who the hell is their quarterback? Now, passing touchdowns. We're probably not going to be high up there. Jeez, the Colts are 20. Who is their quarterback? I need to know this. We'll check when we go into the stats. Yeah, we're really down there. We're 13th only in passing touchdowns, and we're probably not great in running either. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. The Ravens are nasty running. I'm pretty happy with how we held the Browns, and they're up there. Yeah, we're pretty far down there. Again, we don't have that many touchdowns. First downs. Damn, our offense just isn't there. Again, though, our defense is kind of carrying us this year, which is different because it's usually our offense carrying us, but it's definitely our defense this year. Now, this is probably where we should be leading the pack, right? Oh my god, how is the Bears only allowed 1,600 yards? I thought we were number one. Wow, alright. Jesus. Well, we have to play the Rams and the Steelers, so that's a bit scary. Now, passing yards. One, two, oh wow, we're not up there in passing ones. I mean, we're decent. I'll take. I'll be top ten in passing any time, and be okay with it. So we're ninth in passing yards allowed. But where we really set it apart is our D line. Our D line's only allowed 459 rushing yards, best in the league. I'll take that. And we're actually tied with the Bears for points allowed. So I mean, if we're keeping up with the Bears, we're doing something right. Probably lead the league in sacks as well. Wow. We actually are behind the Jets and tied with the Broncos. Um, what about turnovers? Fumble recovers. It said we had three. Uh, what about interceptions? Pretty happy with seven picks, to be honest. Conversion. I see. I like to check all this stuff out. It's kind of interesting to see how it really is. Yeah. Look, it, this kind of tells the story of our team. So, like, we're, we're not the best offense. Like, we're really good on defense. We just make the best of our opportunities. Like, even on offense. Like, you've seen we didn't have many touchdowns. But we had a decent amount. But, like, we weren't leading the league in touchdowns, passing, or rushing. But when we get the opportunity, we make the most of it. We're 60% completion rate on third down. Justin's been very good on third down. Um, Fourth down conversions. We've only won for it three times. We got a one there. Who's the worst? Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, we are the best. No, I don't really think two matters much. We haven't even went for two. Red zone efficiency. Ooh, where are we there? One, four, five, six. We're eighth in red zone. My gosh, the Browns have 92% Red zone. Yeah, we're lacking in touchdowns a lot. 
I'm pretty happy with only getting two field goals when we've went in the red zone, though. So that means we're really capitalizing on touchdowns. What about these defensive ones? This is pretty gnarly. So we've allowed four, five, six, seven. We've allowed, we're eighth in allowing teams to come to the red zone. But when we teams come in the red zone, this is where we step up. We've only allowed eight touchdowns once they've gotten into the red zone. I'm pretty happy with that. We forced a lot of field goals. What is that? So 13. So we've turned the ball over six times when they're in the red zone. That's not bad at all. Jeez. Some of these teams are insane when they get in the red zone, though. Look at the freaking... My God. The 49ers are only a 45%. Jesus. How many... They, that means they have 11 turnovers in the red zone on defense. Uh, wow. I thought we were out here being good. I mean, we're not bad. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, we're 11th, but damn. Some of these teams are insane. Now, again, penalties is never going to be great because I don't really... I used to like to mess with the penalties, but... Again, they're just not for me right now. When you mess with the penalties, it starts messing with gameplay and all this other crap. So I like where the sliders are right now. I like gameplay. Where it's at. Turnovers. We've probably... We were doing really well. Then we dropped to a three difference. We were really good. And then it just dropped when we threw those picks. We had a decent amount of picks, yeah. Six picks, not good. Seven giveaways. I bet ten takeaways, though. I'll take that. So that's what it's looking like for our stats. Let's actually just check our stats real quick, and then we'll check around the league. So, we had a really good start with Justin, dude. We were, like, only two picks for so long, and then we just threw in a couple picks the last couple of weeks. Oh, wow. Baker's on the Patriots? And then it just went up. Like, we're at six picks now, so it's not horrible but it's not where i'd like to be 68 percent completion rate so it's okay but again i'd like to clean that up with justin especially coming into this next game we've been sacked 14 times not the worst but not great either rushing cmc is averaging 6.2 yards of grab which isn't bad at all 5.9 for justin robbie with about 19 why? Wow, that doesn't really matter. He's only had one carry. So, yeah, carries Justin's not bad, but he has fumbled it four times, which is a bit concerning. Rushing. Oh, actually receiving. Now, look, this is the story of our team. We haven't gotten many receptions to our receivers, but they make the most of it. Like, look at this shit. DJ's averaging 20 yards a grab, bro. That's insane. Marshall's averaging 11.6, CMC 10. That's wild. 16 for Robbie, 19.5 for Curtis. Curtis hasn't gotten as involved as I would like. Touchdowns, who's leading? Four for Marshall, four for DJ. We got to clean that up. We got to get better there. Blocking. So, wow. Bones allowed six sacks. That's rough. So our right line is not great. I mean, it's good. They've just been allowing the most sacks for us. Defense. So we have 73 tackles by Shaq. Not bad at all. 60 by Montez. 48 by Chin. What about sacks? Now again, look. I feel like we gotta get more pressure. Like, look. Besides us, like... Man, it's been quiet out here. Like, look at Brian. Like, we have 13 tackles for loss, six and a half sacks. I'm not expecting everybody to do that. But, you know, like, it's tough. Because we need somebody else to be a pressure machine with us. I thought it was JJ. He's came back and played it all right. He just hasn't got the pressure I would like, if I'm being honest. So, we, we need that to get better. Interceptions. Who has four? Yeah, Dante's been really well. He's played very good with four picks for us. He's played very good, actually. 
I'll check around the league and see what's going on. So passing. Let's check out the NFL. What's going on here? Okay, so I needed to see who the Colts were, and they got Jacoby Brissett playing very well. 23 to 5 ratio, dude. Pretty decent. 15 to 5 for Allen. Baker up there at 12 to 7. To be honest, we're not the only one throwing that many picks. Damn, Trey Lance is playing well. And he's on the Saints. 15 to 2. Shit. What's oh, any superstar? See, this is gonna be a battle. When we play the Saints. Mmm, that's tough. 14 to 3. Holy shit, Tom's down there at 9 to 12. I mean, yeah, we've thrown a little bit of a decent amount of picks, to be honest. Elliot. Mm, these. Got CMC up there. My gosh, Elliot's got 694. Two touchdowns, no fumbles. We haven't fumbled with CMC either. Kamara's up. Oh my god, Kamara's on the freaking Chargers? The Bengals are up there. Derrick Henry, Nick Chubb. What about broken tackles? We've got 25 by Josh Jacobs. My goodness. Where's uh CMC? Wow, CMC hasn't had many, it doesn't seem. That's tough. But hey, he's just making people miss. He don't need broken tackles. Receiving. Got 45, 707 for Paris Campbell. Mark Andrews up there. Pat Fearmuth. Keenan Allen. Dante Pettis. Yeah, again, we're not probably going to be up there. We haven't had the best amount of receiving. What about blocking? Oh, wow. Eight sacks allowed by Lyle. That's rough. Then the best is Pat Alfine. Couple guys haven't allowed sacks. Defense, we've got Shaq leading the league, so I'm hoping, I, I don't know, we might have to get rid of Shaq this year. He's doing really well, but he lost Superstar, so if he doesn't gain that back, we're definitely going to have to probably look a different direction. Damn, we've been going on for like 25 minutes here. Got 64 by Kwiatkowski, 63 by Devante, I mean Devin White, 62 by Tavai. 60 by Montez. So we got a couple guys up there. Tackles for loss. We're leading the league with Brian there. 11 by Casey. 10 by Shaq and Chandler Jones. Sacks. We got 7 by Shaq again. Wow. Shaq doing things. Khalil Mack at 7. 6.5 by Brian. 6.5 by Eric Armstead. Bosa up there at 6. Interceptions. We got 5 by Marlon. Now... We do have Dante up here as well, but for some reason it's not showing him at four, so he'd be second. I'm feeling pretty good about that. That's probably going to wrap it up here. So we've checked with some of the stats around the league, checked where we are. Again, our offense is not the best, obviously. Can we check yearly awards? Oh, we can't check yearly awards yet, unfortunately. So I'm pretty happy with the team, though. You know, we're up there in defense. We're capitalizing on third downs. We're capitalizing when we're in the red zone. Our defense is really what's carrying us right now, to be honest, which I'm kind of surprised by. But I'll take it. I'll take anything I can get there. And next game should get hairy when we take on the Ravens. So make sure you guys do hit that sub button. If you guys are new to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys next episode. Peace out.